What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Bramble Gas on the Regulation D ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit, click that big red box that says subscribe and join the Jeans community. But this team was actually sent by a fan to me over on Twitter, but I realized this team was actually made by Wally the Bandit, another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So huge shout out to him. If you guys want to check out this team further in depth or get the Poke base for this team, make sure you guys head over to Wally's channel. Link is down in the description below. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're using Bramble Gas today, and this Pokemon is actually very, very strong, especially paired up with the new Tornadus who was released in Regulation D. So it should be fun popping some Tailwinds, having Wind Rider pull off with Bramble Gas, and just having this Pokemon get some work done but our first pokemon in the top left hand corner for today's team preview is going to be for rigoraf one of my new favorite pokemon from gen 9 with armor tail and the safety goggles as an item it's got hyper voice dazzling gleam in prison and trick room which is just super good when going up against trick room teens we also have azumarill on the team, which azumarill is a very good pokemon especially within the trick room it has huge power and the citrus berry as an item rock and play rough aqua jet for first turn priority liquidation for big time stab damage and then protect for its fourth and final move we're rocking out with iron hands in our third slot and iron hands is a pokemon you can't go wrong with in regulation d it has quirk drive with the salt vest as an item rock and drain punch thunder punch heavy slam and fake out we got Bramble Gas in our fourth slot, the star of the show, a Pokemon that you don't get to see too much on the ranked ladder. It has Wind Rider as its ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Phantom Force, Shadow Sneak, Seed Bomb, and Protect. In our fifth slot, we got Tornadus, the best support Pokemon in Regulation D, with Prankster and the Covert Cloak, Rock and Bleak Wind Storm, Tailwind, Taunt, and Rain Dance for Weather Control. In our final slot, we're rocking out with Chiyu, and Chiyu is a Pokemon that can get work done all by itself. It has Beads of Ruin as its ability, with a Life Orb as its item. Four moves consist of Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Nasty Plot for that plus two special attack boost, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, let's grab some wins with this Wind Rider Bramble Gas team. First match is coming at you guys, and we're going to have to deal with Shen Pao. They got Shen Pao, also pairing up with Hisuian Arcanine, and then they got Fluttermane, Lillaboom, Urshifu, and last but not least, their support Pokemon, Tornadus. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I'm kind of leaning towards a little bit of Bramble Gas. Not a bad Pokemon here. Love it. Look at that speed, 156, and its attack stat is pretty solid, 167. So I might go into Bramble Gas, and I might go into Tornadus, double down with these two. But Pokemon that I am scared of is going to be the Shen Pao. So I am going to bring Chiyu in the back end for that, and then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards Iron Hands, or I could go in with like Azumarill. But I think we get a little bit more value out of Iron Hands, especially with the Assault Vest and the Fake Out move. You can really get some work done. So we're going to lock it in, we're going to lock it down. We're going to hope he's not leading Shen Pao, and then we can probably get after the battle. Arcanine could be a little bit of a problem as well, but I think we could be fine. I definitely think we can be fine. I'm looking just to pop the Tailwind and get cooking from there, right? your best bet we do have the dark terror type if need be but i don't really want to get intimidated either by arcanine so arcanine and shen pao if they lead both of them we are in some trouble we are in some big time trouble but i might just terrestrialize at that point you never know you never never know but it looks like they're struggling to actually pick a team right here they're thinking a lot hopefully it hits zero and they're just throwing out pokemon it does hit zero it does hit zero so that means they're leading Shen Pao Rule Boom if they didn't pick, right? So I think it just goes to your top four. That would be kind of annoying because I don't want to lead both of those Pokemon. <laughs> I just don't want Shen Pao out on the field. It will force me to use my Terror type. But at that point, you can fake me out. Actually, you can't fake me out. I'm Ghost type, and on top of that, I have the Cover Club. So that's big. So I don't really mind that if you do that. No, it's going to be Arcanine and Rule Boom. So Tornadus and Bramble Gaze come out here. Intimidate doing me a little rough. But I am going to win Rider up. And the Grassy Surge Jagger. So my Grass moves are going to do a bit more damage. And I could do be neutral onto that, uh, onto that Arcanine. Is it white Terrasilize? Potentially, right? Potentially. I think I might. Hmm. I could actually just Phantom Force this turn. And dip out of here. Tailwind Phantom Force. 
Or do I Terra and Seed Bomb? I think I'm going to Terra and Seed Bomb, because Seed Bomb is going to do a nice amount of damage, especially when we go back to neutral. They got the grassy terrain out here. So I'm just going to Tailwind, set up the speed boost, get the plus one attack from Wind Rider, and set a Seed Bomb into Hisui and Arcanine. That's kind of weird to think about, that I'm dropping a grass boot into an Arcanine, right? It's Hisui and Arcanine, though, so it's neutral, because it's part Rock type. So Terra into the Dark type. We love it. And I'm a Tailwind up. I just love the little Tailwind coming at you. I get the Wind Rider boost, so my attack stat is going to get boosted, and we're going back to normal. C-Bomb's going to fly here, it's stab, we're in the terrain, we're doing about half damage, which is a big time. And now he's going to fight up what's up, and wow, I didn't even need to Terrasalize. Terror was a waste, this thing's defense is so low anyway. We're going to Sash up. Ouch. A little bit of Sash action, and he's going to knock me off too, so he's double down on me, I was dead regardless. I just shouldn't have wasted my Terror. But still, Bramble Gans getting some work done there, it was just a tough lead up against him. I kind of forced him into turn one. But I don't mind that. We got Tailwind set up. I could go, go for some Bleak Wind Storms. I'm not too worried about Arcanine. And from here, I could just go into Chi Yu, right? I could just Chi Yu it up, right? I feel as it has to be my play. We'll go Chi Yu, and we will go in with Tornox. So now I can just Bleak Wind Storm. Probably just pop a Heat Wave here. I need to cook him from there. I'm all about it. But yeah, I'm going to Heat Wave. I'm going to Bleak Wind Storm. Hopefully. We can land a Heat Wave, and Heat Wave can get rid of the Arcanine. I feel as it should, considering we're Life Orbs. But we're going to hope. If not, we can, we're we going to have to double land. And the double land is probably not happening. My Heat Waves have been missing left and right. They really have. My Heat Waves have been terrible as of recently. If you guys have been watching my content, especially daily, my daily viewers, you guys know my Heat Waves have been atrocious. Let's see what they end up doing. They could swap it. Yeah, I was going to say, they could swap Arcanine and reset that Intimidate. It's going to be big later in the game for my Iron Hands. And he's going to go into, you're going to go into Urshifu. And I'm hoping this Bleak Wind Storm can land. Can this Bleak Wind Storm please land? This could be a nice Bleak Wind Storm here, especially on the Urshifu. Let's see what Terra type they go into. They're going to go into Straight Poison, which is such a solid typing for Ursh for not Urshifu, for uh, Wilbur. It's such a good typing. Bleak Wind Storm is going to fire, it is going to land, and we're just dumping on Urshifu. So we get rid of Urshifu, we're right back in this. We're right back in this game. Bad swap from our opponent, and I'm going to go into a Heat Wave here. How much damage are we doing? A lot of damage. A lot of damage. That's a big time damage. Knockoff's going to come out here, she's going to take off my Cobra Cloak, and I really like where we're sitting. We got Speed cooking, he's going to have, he's going to be forced to intimidate us. Actually, no, we didn't take out a Pokemon. Probably gonna go into his other Pokemon and save Intimidate for later. But I really like where we're sitting. I'm kind of hoping he goes back on Arcanine. And he does. Love it. Love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. So Intimidate comes out here. I am just gonna throw another Heat Wave here. And from here, I'm just gonna Bleak Wind Storm again. I'm just gonna double down with attacking moves. We got speed. We got all that good stuff. We might as well keep the pressure up here. Good old pressure. Gotta keep it cooking. So what I think he might end up doing is swapping Rollboom. No, he's going to E speed. I was going to say, oh wow, we get a free Sash. We like that a lot. Bleak Wind Storm's going to miss somebody. Who's it missing? It's missing both of them. That hurts the soul. Can you double kill Heat Wave? Kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. It does kind of hurt that you don't double kill and we miss a Bleak Wind Storm. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. So Arcanine can obviously just E-Speed, he's probably going to do that. We do have Tailwind for one more turn, which is nice for us. And we'll see who, they, who their final Pokemon is, and it's Fluttermane, oof, ho, oh, oh. We don't like Fluttermane. We simply do not like Fluttermane. So Fluttermane's going to get a speed boost, and I might just Dark Pulse it here. Hmm. What do I just heat wave across this? I am just gonna heat wave. I am just gonna heat wave because I feel very confident. I feel very confident after if we can just get rid of this Arcanine here. Oh, you end up e speeding into that. That's actually a smart play right there. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly. It's gonna KO. 
And I feel pretty confident we can win this match, even with just Iron Hands. Because he has this whole vest, he should be able to eat up and get off a one shot. But Chiyu, well, I was going to say Chiyu should outspeed. And yeah, I'm going after Tornadus. That's fine by me. That's fine by me, and that just guaranteed us victory. So he is going to fly, probably pick up the KO. It does. I was very confident in uh, Iron Hands being able to win that 1v1. All it needed to do was get off one electric move and it would be game. But there it is. 1 and 0 to get things started. Let's hop into our second match. Look to use Bramble Gas a little bit more. So we were able to grab ourselves a win in match number one, but Bramble Gas only got one turn. I definitely want to use it again and I definitely want to rip up with it. So I'm going to lead it. I'm going to force lead it again alongside with Tornadus. So we're going to go Bramble Gas alongside with Tornadus. And then for the team that we're versing, which I didn't even say, Dragonite, Urshifu, Heatran, Fluttermane, Mousehold, and Tornadus. I'm actually very happy they do not have Shen Pao. But I was going to say, honestly, maybe like a back end Azumarill and Frigoraph Trick Room could be really good. I definitely like Azumarill, and I definitely want to bring it in here. It's going to be super effective onto the Heatran, onto the Dragonite, onto the Urshifu. Really, really good. But I could also bring Farigaraph there to pop Trick Room. Or I can just go straight up into Iron Hands and just have those Pokemon out bulk shots go from there. Because you do have Citrus Berry, you have Assault Vest. There's a, a low likelihood of you guys dying in one shot, right? So, I really do like that. So... I'm not even going to bring for a grab. I'm just going to double down with my attacking Pokemon in the back end. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. We're well, not match number one, match number two. We're looking to go back to back. But I miss Dynamax. I actually really like Dynamax. I know a lot of people didn't like Dynamax, but I actually miss Dynamax because it gave so much value to other Pokemon that weren't that good. Like, for example, I'll just use Azumarill, for example. Azumarill is being used a little bit in the competitive scene right now, but back in Dynamax... You can Belly Drum, you can Weakness Policy. I feel like you can make any Pokemon go with Dynamax because you just hand it the Weakness Policy, you Dynamax it double its HP, and you just roll out strong from there. So I absolutely love Dynamax. I do like Terrestrialization too. I think it's a cool concept too. But I don't know which one I like more. But they're going to go Mousehold and Tornadus, and that's kind of fine. It makes me think that this Mousehold is a uh, is uh, like a, a, an attacking one. Right? It makes me think that it is attacking because why would you lead to support Pokemon? So I think maybe Pop Bombs are going to come out here. But as long as I can set up a Tailwind, we should be thriving. So we're going to see a Terror type come out here. Probably from Mousehold, I'm thinking, right? Normal Terror Mousehold. Looking to just KO my Tornadus. Ghost type Mousehold. Ew! Go Does this thing have Terror Blast? It's scaring me. I mean, I can Shadow Sneak it. I do have uh, Focus Sash, which is good. But I'm going to Tailwind up. Get off a nice little big Tailwind. Ghost Mousehold out here. And I'm a Wind Rider boost as well. We love the Wind Rider boost. T Bomb's gonna come after. They're not Tailwind, which is pretty big. And we just dump on Mousehold with a crit. Get it on out my face, yo. Bramble Gas getting things started off hot here in match number two. Can you go for it? Uh, I was kind of hoping. Oh, you got Dark Pulse? They were doubling down on my Bramble Gas. Good thing we KO'd that. But I was really hoping I think we'd go for a Bleak Wind Storm and trigger Wind Rider again. But now Urshfu's gonna come out here. Um, hmm. Do I just hard swap that thing? Or maybe do I just shadow sneak it? And let Bramble Gas die out? Because how, fa like, how fast are you, Bramble Gas? Are you going to be faster than Urshfu? Even if they tail one? You should be. That's, you're pretty fast, my guy. You are pretty fast. I could hard swap maybe into like a zoom route, but I think we're fine. I really just think going into shadow sneak, trying to pull this off, and going into a bleak wind storm. I think it's going to be my play. So Shadow Sneak is going to come out here. They're not Tailwinding, which is big time. We're doing about half HP. And there's the Aqua Jet. So I knew they were probably going for first turn priority, but then not going for a Tailwind. I love it. I love it. Because now if I can land this Bleak Wind Storm, Urshifu's a goner. Can we land it? We do land it. Let's go. Urshifu's gone. Konanis, half HP. That's big time. Getting rid of their best Pokemon on their team. The Bramble Gas getting some work done. I let it die out. I feel like it worked out perfectly. And they're going to Bleak Wind Storm us. That's fine. So from here, I could bring out Azumarill. And I'm leaning towards Azumarill. But actually, I'm kind of leaning more towards my Fake Out user here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Fake Out the Storm. The reason being, if I can just land one more Bleak Wind Storm on their Tornadus, we should be able to KO it. And of course, it's Fluttering. Of course, it's the Flutskies. Of course, it's Flutter. Flutter, Flutter comes out here. I can't fake it out. 
cannot fake you out. I do have a zoom around the back end, which I like. I think Terra and Tigray is going to be play and just drop a heavy slam off this thing. That's fine. We'll do that. And on top of that, we'll just try to land another Bleak Wind Storm. That's fine. So we're kind of hoping that Fluttermane's Terror type is Fairy. So if it wants to Terrasalize, we just take it out. But that's such a good move to have on Iron Hands, which I absolutely love. I love Iron Hands for Heavy Slam for this exact exact purpose. Fluttermane is just in the meta too much. So having Heavy Slam just being able to one-shot is perfect. But now they finally set up a Tailwind, and that's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. The reason being, you're not taking out my Iron Hands. And my Iron Hands is going to rip into Fluttermane. It's going to rip into you. So Heavy Slam comes out here. You can say bye bye to Fluttermane, and that's why I love Heavy Slam. So now I get to pull out uh, Azumarill, and that's gonna be GG's. Match number two going to us? Come on, man. We're killing it today. We are killing it. We are killing it. Bramble Gas getting some work done in this match. One shot at Mousel, which was huge, and getting off some nice damage onto uh, Urshfu as well. But from here, I'm just gonna Thunder Punch, and on top of that, I'm just gonna Liquidation, and our opponent probably cancels, right? Now he's gonna stay in here. And who's dodging? Iron Hands is dodging. Oh, both my Pokemon. Both my Pokemon just to rub it in their face. Just dodge the move. Liquidation comes out here. It finishes off to an Oz. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and L. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in match number three. Third and final match is coming at you. And we're going up against a Galar starter team. Super, super cool. They're rocking Rillaboom, Intel, Neon, and Cinderace. All three starters from the Galar region, Generation 8. They also have Urshifu and Tornadus and Iron Hands. Pretty cool team right here. Really cool team. I'm actually hoping they beat us. I'm hoping they pull off some cool tech and just dump on us because we're going to grab ourselves a winning record. We're in our third and final battle. But I'm here to showcase Bramble Gas, so I'm forcing the lead again. We're going into the little, uh, what is that thing called? Tumbleweed? Yeah, little tumbleweed guy. We're going to lead alongside with Tornage because it's always powerful. In the back end, um, I do like Azumarill. I can get down with some Azumarill. And I think I'm going to go Iron Hand. So I think I might just go same squad or actually lead... Or bring Chiyu. Yeah, Chiyu would be nice. Yep, Chiyu it is. Said Iron Hands. Sorry, Iron Hands. It's all good. It's all good. But Azumarill is one of those Pokemon, just like Pelipper, that I didn't like when I was younger. And now that I kind of grew up and uh, started playing competitive Pokemon, I absolutely love its design and I love that Pokemon. Like, back then, I would have never put Azumarill on my team. Now, I would put it on any of my teams. It's so good. It has such a cool design. And I just love it. I love it so much. A lot of Pokemon have grown on me. But Azumarill and Pelipper are definitely the, like, top two that really grew on me. So, we'll see. They end up leading Iron Hands and Urshifu. So, they can not fake me out, actually. We had a lot cooking here. And I believe that's the Dark Urshifu, right? Or is that Water Urshifu? Let's see. It is the Dark Urshifu. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. I think from here... I'm just gonna go into a Phantom Force. Or I should just Seed Bomb go after Urshfu, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna Seed Bomb go after Urshfu. And I'm gonna set up this Tailwind and get Wind Rider. Wind Rider? Oh my god, I forgot about Sucker Punch. What am I doing? I should I should Terror Dark type. I definitely should Terror Dark type. But he's gonna actually Terror Dark type and he's gonna Sucker Punch my Bramble Gas. How'd I forget about Sucker Punch? But. Good thing is, I have Focus Ash. We love a good old Focus Ash. And he's going to go for the fake out here, which I'm Cobra Cold. It's fine by me. But still, that did a nice chunk of damage. I'm not even going to lie. So I get off the Tailwind. Wind Rider's going to give me the attack boost. And he's going to not Sucker Punch me. We like that. That's fine. And I get off a big time Seed Bomb. He's going to Wicked Blow me instead. That's fine. Oh, you actually going to go in this side? That's fine. That, I'm cool with that. I don't mind that. I got off my Tailwind. I got it off. That's huge. We like that. We like that. So from here, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, do I just go into Chiyu? That's the real question. Question of the day right here. I think I'm going to go to Chiyu, and I think I'm going to Terror Ghost, to be honest. He didn't take off my Focus Ash, so I'm thinking of just Terror and Ghost. Hmm. Again, I could see a Sucker Punch come out here. Could definitely see Sucker Punch. And honestly, if I use Phantom Force, will that dodge Sucker Punch? I'm curious to see that because we're not technically attacking this turn. We're we're attacking next turn. So I'm gonna give that a try. Again, if I lose this match, I lose it. I, I don't I don't really care. I like to have fun on this channel. But uh Yeah, I'm kinda curious to see that. 
If I go for Phantom Force, will turn one not allow him to land a Sucker Punch? But all I'm really trying to do here is Terrasilize Ghost, read the Drain Punch coming in here, and take out the Urshifu. Sucker Punch is going to come through here, and it does go. It does go. Good to know. That's good to know. But I'm sashed anyway. We chilling. Can I land this Heat Wave on the Urshifu and finish it off? That's the real question. That is the real question. We do land. That should finish him Ooh, all day. And wow, the damage on the Iron Hands is insane. So we're hoping we made the good read. We're hoping he's Drain Punching into me. That'd be a good little call for us. And let's make it happen. Show me Drain Punch. All day, baby. All day. That's too easy, man. That's too easy. The Ghost Terror is one of the best Terror. And for for those purposes. We're going up against Fighting Pokemon and for the uh, Fake Outs. So this thing actually might have Sucker Punch as well. That could be very annoying. I'd be upset if you have Sucker Punch. Let's see how many turns are left in Tailwind. You have Sucker Punch. We, hmm, do I protect you? Or do I just Dark Pulse? I'm going to go for Dark Pulse. You better not have Sucker Punch. You do have Sucker Punch. Get out of my face with that. It's going to take me out. Oh, it does not take me out. She, you, my dog. Phantom Force coming in here from Brambi. Brand be getting some work done. And I get off a nice big time Dark Pulse, which is now going to be not very effective on him. Because he's now Dark type. And we're doing about half HP. Half HP here. And she's going to die a little bit. Okay, so we have a Zoomerel in the back end. Uh, they already used their Terra on their Urshifu. And I got Bramble. Bramble sitting here. Good old Brambi. Good old Brambi. So I could honestly just protect Bramble Gas and take out. Cinderace, depending on who they go into, and I was gonna say, please don't be rude. Of course, it's rude. Of course, it is really. So now we're sitting a little tough. So from here, I am just gonna protect you, and oh man, it's ugly. And I'm just gonna liquidation KO the Cinderace. You gotta be faking my out, my assume, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Chill on me, yo. The double sucker punch is doing me dirty. I thought we were good once we terrestrialized into ghost because I was just like, okay, we get rid of the sucker punch Pokemon, and then this thing came out here, and I was like, I'm pretty sure most of these Cinderaces run sucker punch. So there's a big time fake out. And we'll see what Cinderace is going for here. Sucker punch. So from here, what is my play? I think my play is, I mean, it's tough because Tailwind does go out here. And I don't think a Zoomerel is eating up a shot from Rillaboom. But my play is just going to protect you. Even though I just protect it. Because I believe he's going to go for a Sucker Punch, even if we miss it, and try to get rid of Cinderace. So he missed that. I believe he's going for another Sucker Punch, so we should be fine. Now you go for a Pyro Ball. And we dodge it anyway. Wow, we should have attacked. And there's the Wood Hammer. We should have just attacked. We really went for a Pyro Ball. That was actually smart. Reading my Protect, but that's going to be game. That is going to be game. Little Boom's going to take some Recoil. That's Night Night. That is Night Night. Unless Bramble Gas can pull it out. I don't believe you can. I mean, the only way Bramble Gas pulls this one out is uh, if he goes for another Pyro Ball. But we, I don't even think we're KOing with Phantom Force. Should've just went for Seed Bomb. But yeah, Sucker Punch is definitely the play. Now he goes for Acrobatics. But he outspeeds me regardless. That's gonna be the game. We go 2-1 for today's video, and we get to use Bramble Gas pretty well here. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Grab yourselves a winning record with it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record added to the Jeans playlist under Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, we killed it today. Got the two wins. Used Bramble Gas up. Actually, did not get to use my favorite Pokemon. We did not use Furigraph. So, kind of hurts, but still at the same time, we got to showcase this team and make a great video for you guys. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.